Hello. In this video, I like to show you something that uh, Cloudflare just released: web application firewall that will uh, be rolled out to all the free accounts. So, uh, in the past, the web application firewall was not something that uh, was uh, free for uh, Cloudflare users and. Uh, Yesterday, Cloudflare announced that uh, they will release a free, free version of the web application firewall to the to the existing users that have the free plan also. So, what this uh, firewall will help you do is to protect your WordPress website or other websites that you may host in, in Cloudflare. The free plan, it will... Uh, offer the basic protections that uh, will be updated constantly. So Cloudflare with will include protections, for instance, like uh, Log4G or uh, Shellshock or other, other threads that uh, are out there. Also, they're offering uh, like uh, protection uh, for the most known common uh, WordPress threads. So, uh, you will be you will be protected uh, better with these free free options from them. This is a very nice uh, thing from my point of view because there are a lot of attacks that is happening uh, over the internet, especially in the last years. And uh, this is a free service that will help you better protect your uh, website and uh, especially for WordPress, like it will stop some of the threats that are, are, are there and uh, it will uh, it will help you be more protected. You see here like uh, for the free managed rules we have like uh, the, the most known threats that are discovered and uh, there are also some rules for instance for WordPress that are uh, included so it will protect your WordPress website. This is relatively a new new thing from from Cloudflare, it just has been released. You see here, like uh, they announced this yesterday on uh, 15 of of March. They are uh, they have provided two articles. You have here the articles. I have written also an article on, on my site where you can go and uh, check all of these uh, articles and some details about this firewall. We're also gonna see how this thing it's it's, it's working in in this video. So these are the, the details that are uh, that that are provided by Cloudflare. This thing it's under rollout right now is not fully fully released, but we can see some of the things that they're including in this uh, free web application firewall. Let's see. Let's see in here. In here, I have an WordPress website, for instance. Uh, in here, in the security area. You have this uh, web application firewall tab and you have the overview tab in here you see without configuring anything you see that the firewall already stops on threats to, to this website it looks like someone coming from tor network try to access the the feed of this website and they seen that and blocked blocked this they have also other rules that uh, that they are that they are checking and this is specifically for this website and if we go and check uh, other website that I have in, in here we'll, we'll see all the details that you can find under the application file so you need to check the website for instance this test site that I have in here it, uh, it is uh, proxied through Cloudflare in order to use this uh, firewall you need to to, to, to proxy your website through Cloudflare, otherwise it will not work. So if you don't have Cloudflare activated, it will not uh, protect your website. So what they did in the security area, they added the firewall settings. You see here, for instance, in the overview in here, I've just tested it some, some firewall rules. If we go into the web application firewall, you see here, like you have the, the tabs in here, you have the Firewall rules in the free plan, you can add up to five uh, active firewall 
rules. I've added one, for instance, in here. I've added a rule that it's blocking my uh, my contact page just to see if this thing is working. You have uh, different options in here to to block or allow cookies, countries, continent, host name, IPs, things like that, URLs, HTTP version, user agent, X forward four, client certificate, known boots, treat score, things like that. So you can create up of five rules and in here you can put the options like uh, manage challenge to to receive a uh, to receive a recapatch or something like that when someone access this URL to allow it to bypass it, to block it. For instance, in here I've set the, the block for this test rule. And you can add up to five, you see here, like uh, it will show you how many times this, this rule has been accessed. Then you have the rate limit rules in here. It's, uh, this is protected in function of rates so you have uh, 10,000 requests for free in the in, in this free version so if you have an api and you don't want to be uh, abused you can limit the request after a certain uh, after a center number things like that in here you have the managed rules these things are still under uh, under creation by them you see here like cluster free managed rules coming soon you have some some default uh, things that are already in here, but the full rollout of this, I guess it will happen in the next next day. You see here, you have some details about uh, some the about the predefined rules that they they will implement. The rules will be updated frequently, and it will be based on the power of their analytics. They say you have also the, the tools area in here. You have the options to to block entire countries, ASN, for instance, IPs, IP ranges, and things like that. Again, here you have the options just to allow it or to 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 do the challenge for them. Okay, in here also you have another options to add about ten user agents in these rules that you can you can block them. You see here like. Here you put the name in here, you put your user, user agent, maybe you don't want certain browser to access your uh, website and yeah, things things like that. And here you have the options, you see, to, to block them, to do the manage challenge, to do the capacha, yeah, things, things like that. So these are the, uh, the free options that the web application firewall of Cloudflare it's, it's offering. In here I've activated a test rule just to see how this is working. I've activated the contact page for, for this website. Pages will, if you go and uh, try to access the contact rule, you see the, the, the contact page, you see here that the access is denied, which means that the Cloudflare firewall, it, uh, kicked, it has kicked in and uh, it is blocked my, my request. In here, you should have the overview with all the block requests that uh, have uh, have came. You see here, you can expand it and see see it. You see the browser, for instance, and the URL. The for this to work, you need to to have the domain proxy. So you need to have the the proxy status active for this. For instance, I put it the proxy status active in, in, in here. This thing will not work if you don't uh, proxy your domain through Cloudflare. Overall, and all, this is a very nice feature that Cloudflare is adding and it will uh, help protect uh, the websites even, even better, especially with these new vulnerabilities that are uh, coming uh, each day. So, this is free and you can start using it uh, right now if you are a Cloudflare uh, customer. Thanks for, uh, for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the, to the channel if you, if you liked it. Thanks.